Uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you very much to Kareem and to the, everybody here for showing up and, uh, and having the opportunity to uh, learn a little bit more about the crowdfunding as well. And my name is Howard Hill, and I'm with uh, Folio Institutional. Folio Institutional is a uh, clearing and custody broker dealer. Uh, we're based out of Washington, D.C., and I'll tell you a little bit more about us a little bit later, but I just want to let you know what I do. And so I'm responsible for helping platforms and issuers who want to uh, enter the crowdfunding space and use the, uh, the new rules that, uh, that Steve talked about uh, a little bit earlier this morning. So you know, before I get started here, I wanted to just uh, let you know, I'm going to talk and, and I'm going to move around a little bit and try and make this a, bit more, a little quicker and, and uh, get, get through some things quickly, but I'll have some time to answer any kind of questions as well afterwards. Um, anybody in here play golf? Okay, good. So anybody know Gary Mule Deer? No? Okay, so Gary Mule Deer is a comedian, and uh, he's got some funny things that he says once in a while. Some things are very poignant. So what I wanted to start the conversation uh, this morning with you all about is, is something he once said. He was, he was talking about how we could make the world better, and somebody asked him, you know, well, what do you think? And he said, well, you know, if all the people in the world could just join, join hands across the globe, two-thirds of us would die. You know, it's kind of a deep joke, right, because two-thirds of the planet's water. So, anyways, the reason I like to start with that is because it's, there's a lot of analogy there to what we're doing in crowdfunding. It's a very, very complex world. It's, it's very, very difficult. There are a lot of people who won't make it. They'll be standing and holding hands in the water, and there'll be those who'll be on land. And so it's a very um, interesting point because you need to really pay attention to what you're doing if you want to be involved in this space. And I, I carry a little notes with me just because I always want to stay on track here. But um, what I'm going to talk to you about right now is an old process for raising capital versus a new process for raising capital. Um, so let me ask a couple of questions first of all. Does anybody in here have a brokerage account, like a, an online brokerage account? OK, great. So a lot of you guys do. Um, is there um, anybody here who either is held or currently invests in some kind of a private security, either a real estate uh, syndication or maybe some private company. Okay, great. So let me ask you a question based upon those two experiences. Some of you guys are in both those camps. Which one of those experiences was easier, opening an online or a brokerage account or investing in a private security? Very simple answer, right? Pretty universal answer. So that's where I'm going to kind of take you guys down that process of what what that looks like and why it's important to the crowdfunding space going forward. So I can talk about a little bit where the history is and where crowdfunding comes from. Uh, talk a little bit about where we're at today in transition with all the platforms that are out there. And then I'll talk about where we think the market is going next and what the future is. Okay. So many, many years ago, if a lot of you guys will remember this, there was a, um, say 50, 60 years ago in the stock market, which by the way, stock market is crowdfunded. Okay. That's, as uh, Kareem was talking about, OPM. The stock market is the king of OPM. There have been a lot of movies made about it. OPM, other people's money, that's what the stock market is all about. 50, 60 years ago, the process for buying stocks was a very, very limited process for most people. It was a very limited market. Most people didn't have access to it. It was very expensive. There were a lot of players involved. There was, uh, it was paper-based. If you, you, know, you go to your old E.F. Hutton broker, and he would issue you a certificate, or you'd get a bond, and you have to clip a coupon, or, Anybody know what clipping a coupon really means? You know, not too many people really know that anymore, but you used to actually have to clip a piece of paper off a, a paper bond, a coupon, and present it for payment to you. Paper-based process. You'd get a certificate, you'd have to hold that certificate. God forbid you'd have to sell it somewhere, because if you wanted to sell it, you'd have to actually present it, which meant it'd have to be in good condition. You'd have to go to a bank, you'd have to get a <coughs> bank medallion stamp on it to sell it somewhere else. Real pain in the you-know-what to do that. That's kind of the old process. Um, I'm sure that if you all think about that very carefully, what does that sound like today? Does that sound a lot like what it's like to invest in a real estate syndicated uh, project or to buy a private security of some sort? A lot of, pro a lot of paper that's involved. That's kind of the old process. And you can see how it mirrors where we're at uh, today in the private security world. Now, you all know that in the public security market with Wall Street, that's changed. Okay? It doesn't look like that at all anymore. Now it's all digitized. Uh, it's very efficient. 
It's much less expensive. You used to have to pay a broker to E.F. Hutton, you know, several hundred dollars, or at Merrill Lynch, you know, several hundred dollars to make a small trade. It's a very expensive process because lots of people are involved. There's a lot of paper involved. Today, it's, a, it's all digitized. Now you have 795 online trades. You know, our firm, it's you know, $5 online trades. Uh, in some cases, it's free. So the efficiencies of technology have driven all the cost out of that. And it's also opened up the markets. So you have a whole lot more investors now who are able to take advantage of the, uh, excuse me, the public security markets because of the costs that are involved. It's not as expensive. There's much more access. It's available for everyone to see. It's been democratized. And so you'll hear that term a lot with crowdfunding, is the democratization of investing. And that's what the internet and that's what crowdfunding is really all about. Um, so today, where we're at, is that you, nowadays you'll see that uh, the, the real estate space especially is being democratized through crowdfunding as well. And there are a whole lot of real estate platforms and there's a bunch of them here today and all really, really good platforms. They're taking this to the next stage. This is the transitionary stage here that we're, we're going through. And these guys are bringing mass um, access to the markets of real estate for the investor. And so when you do that, you've opened up the markets Better opportunities, more access to capital, more investors, better deals for everybody, better returns for investors means more people are, are involved. That's the democratization process. But you know, what, what these platforms are really doing today is they're kind of doing what Wall Street has done many years ago. Okay, So they're eliminating a lot of the paper, eliminating a lot of the other um, uh, barriers to entry into private securities. But the reality is, is that um, they still haven't gone far enough. Uh, and some of the platforms out here may, may say, oh, well, you know, come on, you know. But we're trying to get there, and everybody's working as hard as they can. But there are a lot of, a lot of barriers right now. And the government doesn't help us out a lot. They've helped us out with a lot of the new rules that uh, Steve spoke about this morning. And it's getting significantly better. But there are still a lot of hurdles. And there are a lot of um, uh, technology hurdles as well. It didn't happen overnight with Wall Street. It's not going to happen overnight with, with private securities as well. But the goal is, is to take the uh, public security model and transition it over to the private security model. We don't care what kind of private security it is. We don't care if it's uh, a real estate syndication or if it's an operating company raising capital, if it's a Reg A plus uh, deal with you know, hundreds of thousands of investors. It shouldn't matter. The process should look the same. There's efficiencies that are being created. We're driving out all the paper from the process. Um, we're driving out lots of other things that will make it more accessible for more people. Really the whole uh, idea behind crowdfunding. So what I want to do now is I want to tell you a bit about what Folio, and that's my company, and what we're doing to help create that process and make it easier for people. So Folio Institutional, the company I work for, is a, I mentioned earlier, a clearing and custody broker dealer. We're based out of Washington, DC. We're really a fintech company, which means that we're a financial technology company that just happens to have this really cool clearing and custody platform. And why is that important? And, and I'm going to highlight that real quick. Is that in the country, there are only certain types of firms that can actually, that are allowed by the government, to actually hold cash and to transfer cash for individuals. Those are the big national banks, the uh, very, very large uh, national trust companies, and clearing and custody broker dealers. It's the whole process upon which the stock market and public security market is based upon. So the other thing that's important as we look at it from our standpoint is that you know, distribution. How do you get your syndication in front of people? Do you hire, do you go out and do it yourself? Do you hire a marketing firm? Do you work with your broker dealer? Do you work with your platform? And that's what the platforms really bring to the table as well as they bring great distribution and opportunities to get in front of more people. Our firm, for example, we work with around you know, 400, 450 RIA firms around the country, you know, what's an RIA firm, a registered investment advisor? They control assets for people. They're the people that you go to to place your money when you're planning for retirement or other things, other activities in your life. And so they control hundreds of billions of dollars, trillions of dollars for that matter. And when they work with people, they're going to go through a series of questionnaires with you and they're going to try and find out what your tolerance is for risk and where do you want your assets and you know, what are you planning for, et cetera, and they're going to create model portfolios for you. Up to this point, all those model portfolios have always been stocks or bonds or ETFs or some combination of those. In today's market, though, the, uh, 
these registered investment advisors are now looking for what are called non-correlated assets, or things that don't move the same as the stock market. And those non-correlated assets are typically alternative investments. And what are those alternative investments? They're private securities, they're real estate deals, that sort of thing. What they're doing is now they're coming to people like us and saying, okay, show us what you have. And we get the opportunity to show them all the deals that, are, that syndicators bring to us, platforms bring to us. We put those up. And they have the ability now to say, look, I'm going to allocate 10% of my client's assets across this type of asset class. Well, if they manage a billion dollars, that's 100 million bucks that gets allocated across all these platforms immediately. So it's a great, a great source for funding. And that's how you hear some of these, like we, we heard earlier about a crowdfunding deal that, that happens. That's where the money's coming from right now. Um, so what is, you know, at Via Folio and, and Folio Institution, we're really kind of looking at is we're reinventing the way uh, pre-publicly traded companies uh, raise debt and equity capital. We don't care, debt, equity, whatever it is, we're going to help those companies do that. And when we say pre-public, you know, that's really op or, uh, targeted more towards operating companies, but it works the same in the real estate uh, space. So what are the benefits of working with, with uh, a clearing and custody broker dealer, the, like the Folio platform? Is uh, there's no certificates anymore. There's uh, it's just like buying or holding a public security. You don't get any paper. Um, when you don't get any paper, there's other things that are eliminated that save uh, uh, the expenses for both the, the syndicator and for the, the platform. No more paper means no more escrows. You don't have to have an escrow agent involved. We hold cash. We transfer cash. We do all that. Um, all certificates get held in um, in street name and become a book entry on a brokerage statement. Just like that online broker statement you have right now, if you had, uh, if you're using the Folio platform, and uh, you bought a, uh, a real estate syndicated uh, issue issuance rather on the platform, you would get a brokerage statement, and it would just show as a holding. And this is the, the last point is a really really big deal because this is something that's kind of unique to us that we enable that you can't get anywhere else, and it makes a huge difference in this market. Is that has anybody here tried to buy? a private security or invest in real estate through your IRA or had somebody who wanted to use IRA money to do it. How difficult is that? It's pretty difficult and it's very expensive because you have to involve a trust company and they have to get other documents involved and you know, you're paying them fees on top of all the other fees. And using the Folio platform, an IRA is just another account type. We don't differentiate <laughs> it from uh, a joint account or from uh, you know, a a single individual account. It's just another account type. There are no additional fees for it. It makes it that much simpler to transfer funds immediately. Those are some of the, the benefits. Now, from an issuer standpoint, there are a few other benefits. If, as we look at some of these really, really large crowdfunding platforms, and you think about, again, the term crowdfunding, and again, like I said, public security, that means lots and lots of people. So our platform is very scalable. Can handle hundreds of thousands to millions of clients. We already do that for the public security side that we work with. We have a broad distribution network, and we do this all through technology, through what's called the uh, API connectivity. And so we we host a whole set of APIs to help these platforms and individuals who want to build their own sites do this much, much more efficiently, much more effectively under their own brand. Because we don't care if our if our brand's there. We just want to be the plumber and support our partners. That's kind of all I really want to talk about. What I wanted, the last thing I wanted to show you is what it looks like. Right now, you get a piece of paper from any of these other things that you do that are in a private security under our platform and what we think the future is. This is what you would get. You would have an account page on an online brokerage site that you would have just like your, any of your other brokerage uh, products that you have. And it would just show up as a holding down here. And that holding could be right next to Apple that you own. It could be next to the cash. It could be next to some ETF. It could be next to anything. Whole idea being is we've simplified the process to the point where it's just like a public security. It'll function and look just like that. And it gives you simplicity. And it gives you ease of access. And it'll hopefully increase the amount of investors that can come to you. That's all I got. I appreciate the time. And any questions? Yes, sir. This is more of a comment. Um, as a sponsor of real estate deals and as a company that's doing the Regulation A offering now, um, I think most people probably have no idea of the pain that's involved in taking care of things that you 
think should be automatic. And so when you get into the process and you have to figure out how to clear security and you have to figure out how to, to um, take good intake of an investor's dollars, how to manage that relationship over time, whether it's a publicly traded and registered security or a private placement, uh, it is in it's shocking, it shocked the heck out of me. It's shocking how stupid and complicated it is. And then whenever you get stupid plus complicated, it gets expensive. So <laughs> Folio's, Folio's platform is, in our, in our experience, we're not using it because we, we are part of the stupid and the stupid and complicated. But, but Folio's platform is just light years ahead of the alternatives that are out there. So I would encourage you. Don't do what I did, which is assume that all that stuff has been taken care of because people have been trading securities for 30 or 50 or 100 years and it's not a big deal. It actually is a surprisingly big deal. And having somebody that has a, a slick electronic system instead of paper and phone calls is a big, big deal. Thank you, Steve, and for your advice. Uh, Howard, will that go anywhere? One more question. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, we uh, we have talked or in talks with many of them. Um, there are others that are not here that are using us. Um, we you probably would know us or wouldn't see us very much because, like I said, we're a plumber, so we're really behind the scenes. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll give you three examples of things we've done that are very very much in the know. We um, we handle all the pre IPO trading for Facebook, for example, when it was a, a private security. Facebook came to us to handle all that trading. We currently manage the uh, the back end platforms for um, Lending Club and Prosper, which are you know, multi billion dollar platforms. And so, Thank our work is really behind the scenes, and we support partners, and that's the way we really want to be uh, looked at as the Intel inside kind of deal. 